Hi all, um, this is Michael here and in today's video we are going to do a uh, restore back to stock for the Google Nexus S. Uh, for this version that I'm having it's i9020A. This is for the AT&T, this is the AT&T version and there is another international version which is the i9020T. So please ensure that you are downloading the correct stock images from Google. They have actually two of them. One is for the, uh, they actually have more, but um, for the i9020T, it's actually Soju. And for the i9020A, it's actually Soju A. So please make sure that you download the correct one to flash. If not, it might cause the phone to get break and I, it's heartbreak I'm talking about. If you flash the wrong bootloader or flash the wrong stuff into the phone itself, Okay, so uh, let's get on with it. Okay, first of all, what we need to do is to make sure that UA, uh, USB debugging is enabled. So that's why I said here, um, since it's custom, my guess is it's already enabled by default. Uh, but um, I'm not too sure though. Uh, let's, let's just check. USB is connected, debugging is connected. So it's already connected for the custom ROM. Um, so we'll just see whether there's the developer's options. Um, it's not here. So we have a build version, build number. So now we have the developer option enabled now. And the uh, USB debugging should be here, right? So like what I said, um, by default, the custom ROM has the USB debugging enabled, but if it doesn't, then you just need to follow the steps below to get the things done, right? So let's move on. Okay, guys. Uh, so the next thing we would need to do is to actually extract out the uh, Google factory image that we have downloaded. For my case, it is the uh, Soju A because I'm the, what I'm having is actually the AT&T version. So just extract it to the folder as needed. So once you are done, we will move on to the next step. So this is what we have here, right? Okay guys, if you are having driver's issue like what I have when you boot to fast boot, then this is the one that you can see, this Android One stuff. So what you can do now is just to do an update driver, uh, browse my computer software, and actually you just choose, uh, let me pick, then you just click on next, and do I have this here. So what you need to do is just to browse to the drivers folder of your Google USB driver and just click on the INF here and just go open and just put OK and they will actually display a list of stuff that you can actually choose. So for fastboot will be bootloader interface so you just click on next then you will come up with this and you just click on next and you will be installing a driver and once that is installed, yep, you're done. You have the driver installed. So let's get on with the process. Yeah, I think I'm getting a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit uh, repetitive here. But uh, the same same thing goes. You need to have ADB installed into your computer in order for us to com continue on with the process. So make sure you have that installed. If not, I'll leave a link down below where you can just download and install that uh, ADB program so that you can actually do the flashing for your phone. So first thing first, what we need to do is that uh, the phone is connected now. So what we need to do is to actually do an ADB devices to make sure the phone is connected. So like you can see, the phone is connected now. So what we need to do now is to do ADB, reboot, reboot, loader. So of course the phone will, will be rebooted in bootloader mode. Okay, so once you are in the uh, fast boot mode, Okay, so what we do now is to actually do a fast boot devices to ensure the devices is uh, it's connected. So once your device connected, now we just go to the R slash W. We should see the uh, content of the ROM that you extracted from the uh, Google Factory image itself. So since I'm I'm having a what i nine zero two zero A, I'll be flashing the Soju A package. So if you're having a i9020T or i9023, 
the package you be you should be flashing would be soju right so that's uh, what you need to do now is just do a flash slash all dot that and you just press on enter and they will start flashing the phone itself and you just need to wait for the process to finish and we are done uh, for this one basically boot sick recovery sick uh, it's fine you just leave it there and So once you are done flashing, you'll be able to see that the phone is booting up now. So what you need to do is just to wait for the phone to boot up and we'll see how it goes. So once you are done flashing, you'll be able to see that the phone is booting up now. So what you need to do is just to wait for the phone to boot up and we'll see how it goes. Okay, as you can see now, the phone is uh, finished booted up, so we need to plug out the cable first. Or oh, we can actually put the back button if you want. So, and plug it out. So, let's just get on with the setup process. Okay, so uh, once the uh, phone get booted up, so what we can do now is to just press and start. It's the same thing, there's just a second, the welcome screen. But now, I think I'll skip through all the stuff and just let you guys go through the process um, this is the stock photo 1.2 this just a second is really taking really long and I'm not too sure not too sure why is it so long um, you just need to wait it out and see how it goes okay of course the next screen will be insert sim card stuff thing I think one of the reason why it's just so long is because there's no sim card so you can just skip this um, you can select Wi-Fi network we'll skip this for now no not now just uh, uncheck all this stuff. Next. Next. Go back. Uh, next. 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 Uh, next. And finish. Okay. So uh, as you can see, this is the stock. Stock ROM. So if you took look at this, this will be your stock uh, Android 4.1.1.2. Oh, There's the baseband version and stuff. There's the build number. So this is the last available update for Nexus S. So I mean, it still functions pretty well. If you ask me, it's not like really slow or stuff, but things are still functioning really pretty pretty good for this one. So if you would prefer stock ROM, then this is the way to, to go. I mean, it's not like really that much difference for the 1.2 and for the 4.4 for the custom ROM, but uh, it's completely up to you. But of course, the KitKat will have a nicer version than the Jelly Bean, so, um, so it's up to you how you want to do it. So that's all I have for the video today. If you have any, have any questions flashing the stock image back to the Nexus Ads itself, you can leave a, a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like the video I'm doing for all the all the step-by-step -step guides, uh, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for any future updates of all the different Nexus devices that I have as well as some other device that I bought for review and stuff, right? So, and there will be some giveaway that I'm be doing for headphones, fire sticks and, and some other stuff as well, routers. Uh, those stuff that I've reviewed and tested and I was going to give that away to whoever that wants to use it. Um, and that's all for now. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.